Hello, and welcome back to Dinar Guru, your go-to source for all things related to the Iraqi Dinar. I'm your host, Sophia, and today, we're diving deep into the latest developments straight from Iraq. Iraqi Prime Minister al-Sadani recently took to the airwaves to discuss Iraq's financial landscape, and his words are stirring up excitement among Dinar investors worldwide. We have enough reserves to back a stable exchange rate. That's the reinstatement of your currency. That's going to be the float eventually too. We are capable of many other things besides oil. Our country is powerful, growing, and the world knows it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things Dinar. Welcome to Dinar Guru. In a televised address that captivated the nation, Iraqi Prime Minister al Sadani recently discussed the country's financial situation, revealing insights into Iraq's economic prospects and its potential for growth beyond the oil industry. One particular point of focus in his address was the assurance of having sufficient reserves to support a stable exchange rate and the eagerly anticipated reinstatement of the national currency. This development has sparked considerable interest and discussions, with the Prime Minister emphasizing Iraq's diverse capabilities and the global recognition of its growing power. A stable exchange rate, foundation for economic resurgence. Prime Minister al Sadani began his address by addressing a crucial aspect of Iraq's economic landscape, the stability of the exchange rate. He confidently announced that the country possesses substantial reserves, positioning Iraq to back a stable national currency. This announcement is significant for both domestic and international stakeholders, as a stable exchange rate fosters economic confidence, attracts foreign investment, and stimulates economic growth. The reinstatement of Iraq's currency was a focal point in the Prime Minister's speech, offering a glimpse into the government's commitment to economic recovery and revitalization. The reinstatement implies a return to the previous value of the Iraqi dinar, potentially unlocking new opportunities for trade and investment. This move is anticipated to strengthen the national economy and further integrate Iraq into the global financial landscape. Floating the currency, an eventual paradigm shift. As Prime Minister al Sadani alluded, the stable exchange rate is just the beginning. The prospect of a floating exchange rate has been hinted at, marking a paradigm shift. In Iraq's monetary policy, a floating exchange rate allows the value of the currency to be determined by market forces, leading to increased flexibility and adaptability in response to economic conditions. This move could potentially boost Iraq's competitiveness in the international market and facilitate smoother trade relations. Beyond oil, Iraq's economic diversification. The Prime Minister's address also underscored the importance of diversifying Iraq's economy beyond its heavy reliance on oil. While oil has traditionally been the cornerstone of the country's economic strength, al Sadani emphasized that Iraq is capable of much more. The government aims to harness the nation's potential in various sectors, promoting sustainable growth and reducing dependence on a single industry. This diversification strategy aligns with global economic trends, where countries seek to mitigate risks associated with over-reliance on a particular sector. By tapping into areas such as technology, agriculture, and manufacturing, Iraq aims to build a resilient and dynamic economy that can withstand external shocks and provide employment opportunities for its burgeoning population. Global recognition of Iraq's growing power. In a proud declaration, Prime Minister al Sadani highlighted that the world recognizes Iraq's increasing power and potential. This recognition is crucial for attracting foreign investment, fostering diplomatic ties, and bolstering Iraq's position in the global community. The Prime Minister's emphasis on Iraq's capabilities and growth signals a newfound confidence in the nation's ability to shape its destiny and contribute significantly to regional and global affairs. Exchange rate buzz, lower denominations and cut sheets. Amidst the Prime Minister's address, a particular point of interest emerged, the lower denominations of the Iraqi dinar. Reports have surfaced about increased chatter regarding the lower denominations at various Iraqi banking locations. Additionally, there are claims of the use of cut sheets featuring samples of these lower 
denominations, raising curiosity and speculation among currency enthusiasts. The mention of cut sheets with samples of the lower denominations has sparked a quest for tangible evidence. Enthusiasts and investors are eager to see official sheets from the Central Bank of Iraq to validate the claims and gain insights into the design and features of the anticipated lower denominations. The possibility of obtaining a visual representation of the new currency's physical form has become a subject of intrigue and anticipation. Challenges in verification, seeking official confirmation. While the reports of lower denominations and cut sheets have fueled excitement, it is essential to approach these claims with a degree of caution. Verifying the authenticity of such information is crucial before drawing definitive conclusions. The search for someone within Iraq who can provide an official image of the lower denomination cut sheets from the CBI adds an element of mystery to the unfolding narrative. As enthusiasts strive to separate fact from speculation, the quest for an official confirmation or visual representation intensifies the need for reliable sources within. Iraq, especially those connected to the central banking system, becomes paramount to corroborate the reports and provide a clearer picture of the impending changes to the national currency. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.